Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and this is a beer brief. If you're unfamiliar with what a beer brief is, a beer brief is a brief beer review. My normal reviews are about 10 minutes. I focus mainly on Michigan beer, but on a beer brief, I go a little bit outside Michigan, sometimes outside of beer even, and I talk about a different beer. If you do know what a beer brief is, welcome back. Today, I'm taking a look at Hot Butcher for the Worlds, I Want to Believe. This is a 7.5% double India Pale Ale with Citra, El Dorado, and Belma hops. It has a, uh, I don't usually talk about can art on these beer briefs, but this one has kind of like an X-Files vibe to it. It has a hop cone floating over overhead on the trees. It says, I want to believe. This has, the thing I love about Hot Butcher's cans is they give you tasting notes here, tasting notes on the back. They say this should be juicy melon, sweet citrus, candied berry. You can find out more about them at hotbutcher.com. And you can uh, find out about them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So let's go ahead and crack this one. Put a nose on the can. That's what I like to do. I can't tell the can down date. If you can see that, it's kind of smeared across. There's not really much anything on there. I can tell you it was canned this year. And that's about as good as I can do. So let's go ahead and crack it. Put a nose on the can. Oh, that one's funky. It's got a little bit of a, it's got a bit of a kind of a grapefruity. Hard citrus aroma, a little funky. Let's go ahead and pour it. Coming up pretty cloudy out of the can, collecting in the glass. Also quite cloudy, using an IPA-style glass here. This is known for me to produce a fairly good amount of head. Not getting so much on this, though. Yeah, it just smells kind of funky. It has a little bit of a dank aroma to it. It smells more of a grapefruit. Let's go ahead and put a better nose on the glass. Actually, let's hold this up to the light. Look at that thing. That is, like, really yellow. It's it's very thick looking. It has a nice kind of orange juicy quality to it. It looks very juicy, very, very hazy. Not seeing through that. Actually seeing some nice carbonation streaming up about a finger worth of head roughly, but pretty white. Let's go ahead and smell it. Sometimes you get a little bit of different aroma between the can and the glass. What I'm picking up here is that grapefruit still there, but I'm also getting a bit of a mango kind of really strong, sharp mango characteristic to it. Go ahead and try it out. Cheers. And I'm always going to, bleh, just to stop myself, I'm going to talk about the mouthfeel first, then the taste. Wow, that mouthfeel. So I tried a uh, deeper dish, which is a triple uh, that has the same kind of mouthfeel. It's very, it has a really nice, soft mouthfeel. It's a little bit on the thicker side. It's a little bit, a little bit thicker than medium. And it's like juicy. It's like pulpy, juicy almost, just minus the pulp. So it's, it's, if you think of orange juice, think of that consistency, maybe a little bit lighter, not so thick. And, you know, I love full pulp, full, full pulp orange juice. Just think of orange juice minus the pulp. Let's talk about the flavor. Lots of orange, really kind of sweet orange that kind of comes through at first. And then it's like a uh, tangerine, like biting into the, into a tangerine and getting all that kind of, all the, you know, the membrane, the pithy part of it. So it has a lot of this kind of sweet, you know, citrusy quality to it, but very orangey. It's really very strong in that orange category. There is a bit of this kind of sweeter citrus but it's 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 like a sweet orange flavor but it also has this like step above so it's got this kind of almost another level of sweetness in there it's not just the orange and i can't really place my finger on what it is but as you can tell i mean super crushable what i say this was 7.5 percent and i'm almost like i'm at least a third through this glass if you can tell from the lacing on here uh yeah this is a really nice tasty um, beer, it does have a bit, I do taste a little bit on the aftertaste as it sits in my mouth and kind of after it's gone down my tongue, I do taste more of like this, a little bit more of a bitter citrus, more of like a, uh, a really slight grapefruit or again, like maybe it's like I said, that sweetness, that candy kind of sweetness comes through, but it almost comes through on the aftertaste with that kind of pithy grapefruity kind of bitterness. I don't want to say so much sour, but more of a bitter. So it's, it's got this multi-leveled approach. It has this kind of candied flavor that comes in on the finish that is, again, a little bit like a grapefruit, like a pithy kind of grapefruit, so not quite as bitter as grapefruit, but it also has a bit of a sweetness to it as well. 
insanely crushable, seven and a half percent. I mean, I would never, not never, but I don't generally say seven and a half percent beers are crushable, but this one really is. It's got a really great mouthfeel. It has that sweetness up front, has another kind of level, that orange sweetness up front, another kind of level of this candy kind of sweetness. And on the finish, the bitterness that I'm picking up from the hops is more of like a grapefruity kind of bitterness. It's not, and it's not very pronounced and not very strong. It's just a really nice kind of subtle uh, flavor. I should mention, Hot Butcher sent me a package of beer all for free in exchange for a fair and honest review. And I feel like that's what I've done here. Uh, and so you should expect to see more Hot Butcher beers in the coming days, maybe next couple weeks. It'll take me a little bit of time to go through that inventory. But uh, yeah, this has been I Want to Believe from Hot Butcher. Again, wasn't paid to say any of this, but I think it's a legit beer. If you can find this on shelves and you're a New England style IPA lover, you love that soft kind of mouthfeel and you like that kind of sweet uh, citrusy, orangey flavor. And again, that another level sweetness, a little bit more of a candied kind of sweetness. And then that grapefruit pithiness. I think that's a pretty good combination. I think it's a pretty good New England style double IPA. So that's it for I Want to Believe from Hot Butcher. Until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. These guys are in Derry and Illinois. And until next time, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Cheers.